Hi there folks, I'm back out doing another video and it's always good to come out in wet conditions and um, practice your fire lighting skills. Um, I've just used uh, birch bark and stuff like that to get this going. Um, but yeah, it's great to uh, practice in wet conditions, but um, that isn't the reason why I'm, why I'm making this video. Um, the real purpose of this video is um, it's a follow on from my video from last week. Um, last week uh, we took part in an event to raise awareness for mental health and to raise money for the mental health charity Mind. And um, if you've seen the video prior to this one, you'll know exactly what it is. It was um, a skinny dip in Northumberland at Drew Ridge Bay, and that took part last Sunday morning. Um, to coincide with uh, the autumn equinox um, and there was over 700 people participating in that um, but last weekend we were there, we arrived on the Saturday um, we camped for the night, um, we took up the bell tent and set that up and everything and we um, really enjoyed it uh, although it's for mental health it, it, it has a really positive um, vibe to it by the right word, atmosphere. Um, it, it, it really, really is a great event, run by some absolutely amazing people. Um, but yeah, uh, like I say, the purpose of this video is a follow on to it. I was um, contacted through the week um, by a guy called Raymond Malloy. Um, he contacted me after seeing me post and watching. Um, my video from or our video last week of the skinny dip um, and he made me aware of um, this shows your steak campaign um, to raise awareness of men's mental health and um, make awareness of suicide amongst young men um, so I thought I'd come out today and do my video to show um, my support and to make awareness of it myself. Um, we'll get this pan on and get me steak on. Yeah, um, I don't, like I've said earlier, I don't know how I feel about doing this video um, because I have suffered in the past that is um, one of my main reasons why I started making videos for YouTube because I suffered with anxiety and I felt as though um, by doing these videos um, initially when I first started it was me it was a form of me controlling my anxiety rather than anxiety controlling me um, yeah um, this is probably a video where I don't really want to talk a lot um, unlike me I usually just waffle on now we've got me steak plate and what have you here some onions and some mushrooms them on first I think four year ago I had a bit of a mental breakdown if you like call it that I was under a lot of stress with the job I was doing um, I wasn't sleeping I felt as though I was I was my life was revolved around the job I was doing. Um, I was a complete pain to live with, and as most blokes do when we're struggling and under a lot of strain, we start drinking way too much. Um, and then 
one day. Hit the wall. I felt as though I'd reached my limit. Um, I felt as though um, I don't think I'd have done anything stupid. But the way I felt, I felt as though if I died the next day, I wouldn't have been bothered, which is not great when you've got a family and a wife to support. But yeah, I just felt so low. I just felt so low. But thankfully, I've got an amazing wife and the support of my family, an amazing family, um, which helped me get back on track. I ended up on the sick, off work on the sick, for, I think I was off work for about three months, just short of three months. Um, initially when I went on the sick, it was a massive strain, a massive worry, because I felt as though I was going to lose everything. I felt as though I was going to lose my house, my wife, my family, a lot. Um, thankfully, that didn't happen. But, that's how I felt. Luckily, the company I worked for were really supportive. Um, they put in place therapy, so I could see a therapist and come to terms with the way I felt and one thing and another, which was extremely good of them. And they found me another position within the company, so I wasn't under that stress. Um, again, I was really grateful for that. The, uh, kept, I kept my job. Um, they found another position for me within the within the company, and I was able to still stay working there, and I'm still there now. You know, with the onions, mushrooms cooking off. I say I don't know how this video will turn out because I probably won't really watch it back. Um, it is a subject that I really do find difficult, or this part of the subject I really do find difficult to talk about. Um, it brings back too many memories. Um, but there is help and there is support out there. If you, if it's not a weakness, if you feel as though you've reached a breaking point and things are getting you down, it's not a weakness to feel like that. There's no, the stigma, there's no stigma to it. People that have a stigma to it, just, they lack empathy. Um, but I don't think there is. I think that's something that uh, this big, tough, macho malarkey is something that is um, starting to be in the past, if you like. But yeah, if you feel like you're at the end of your tether and things are getting on top of you, um, just seek the help. Face up to the fact that you need the help. Don't be worried about that. Don't see it as a weakness. Um, seek support in loved ones, in friends. And I mean, there's lots of good people on social media. Um, shoot, a lot of people would um, 
let you confide in them. And I think a lot of people that are into the outdoors and the bushcraft type of thing um, do so for personal reasons at times. Not everyone, but I think there is a, quite a large element of people that are within the bushcraft community come out in environments like this, in weather like this, solely as a way to escape the uh, normal strains of life. And I think modern society in this day and age, because everything is instant with mobile phones and um, computers and things like that, everything is so quick paced, we struggle to keep up and we are taken away from nature and the natural environment because life is so busy we seem to be focused in built up areas and struggle to get away but yeah I'll cook these a bit more and we'll get the steak on I think a lot of the time for myself now, um, I think as a person and how I felt and I felt at the lowest point, I feel more appreciative of smaller things, the, my family, um, because as I said, when I was at my worst, I was an absolute nightmare to live with. Or I feel as I was. Um, but yeah, I appreciate I appre appreciate my wife a lot more. I appreciate um, the time I have when I'm with my wife. Don't let this beard fool you. I'm a big girl's blouse, really. Um, yeah, I do. I appreciate the time. We have fun. We have a laugh. And she is my rock. She was there for me when I needed her. Needed someone the most. As well as my family. But my wife probably knows me more than anybody else on the planet. I'm just going to carry on cooking these off a little bit. I think for me, when I hit my low point, um, I think at, at one point I judged myself and I was thinking, why am I being like this over work, over my job? Um, why am I allowing to get myself so low and it affect my life in such a big way but simply I mean we spent a lot of time at work the job was stressful and it just happened it just happened it's one of them things um, but yeah I mean like it's mental health charities play a big close part to my heart if you like um, if I make sense by saying that. Um, hence, taking part in the things like the Skinny Dip last week, um, which again is to raise awareness about mental health and the purpose of it being a Skinny Dip is, um, is to give people confidence in the bodies because the media puts so much strain on people's lives this day and age with social media, magazines, television we're all expected to be this way and it's fucking bullshit it is bullshit we're all individuals 
and we all have strengths and we all have weaknesses and mental health is not a weakness not at all it's a million miles from it well, I'm going to carry on cooking this steak Uh, that steak's cooked plenty for me, so we'll lift that off with them um, onions and mushrooms to one side. Let them rest a minute because I've got some sauce to go on somewhere, I think. Yep. A little sachet of peppercorn sauce. One through. Might as well show the cardboard in there. Yeah, I think all I'd like to say is um, don't be afraid to admit that you need help because it isn't weakness. Don't be afraid to seek help. Um, and just try and surround yourself with people that have got a positive attitude because it does help. Yeah. Not an easy subject to talk about. Not an easy subject at all. Um, things like the event I was at last week. It's really good. Um, because the night time around the fire is absolutely spectacular. Um, the dip's absolutely amazing. And the people are so friendly. Um, and I would dare say everybody's got their own story that would be the reason why they're doing it um, but yeah I'm gonna I think that sauce should be hot enough just now but yeah I mean if you've stuck around this long in the video thanks for watching um, it probably isn't the best video to watch, to be fair. But I just want to show my support, um, and I know what, what it's like. But yeah, thanks very much. I'll uh, show you this once it's all once it's all done. There we go: steak, onions, mushrooms, and a little peppercorn sauce. amazing really tasty I'm gonna dig into this well it looks like I've forgotten me um, knife and fork so it looks like I'm using that and my Swiss Army knife we'll have a little try this steak see what that's like that's just cut through that like butter sauce is nice considering it's just out of a, a little tub. Let's try. The onions and mushrooms. It 
thirsty. Um, you don't really want to watch me sit here and stuff my face with that. So I'm going to leave the video for here for the time being. And I'm going to finish this off. Right. If you've stuck around um, for this long in the video, thank you very much. This hasn't been the easiest video to make. Um, but I think it's a subject that needs bringing forward and giving some limelight because people do need help, people do need support and don't ever be afraid to seek it, don't ever feel weak for needing help because it can happen to any single one of us at any point, anything can be a trigger, anything can be a trigger. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. Uh, and I'm going to go and wrap my kit up and head home and go and get a nice cup of tea. Because I can't be bothered to make one here. But yeah, if you're a subscriber, thank you very much for your support. Um, both myself and Claire really do appreciate it. And... I'm going to leave the video here and we'll see you on our next one. As always, stay safe and bye for now.